Casey is up. Carolyn is next. Oh my God, the time's going. Where's my mouse? Okay, there we go. Okay, so this talk doesn't really make any sense, but bear with me. So uh, it's called Recursive Spreadsheets, uh, how to liberate Excel users from Visual Basic and Google Sheets users from JavaScript. So I really love spreadsheets, um, and there are two reasons that I really love spreadsheets. Uh, one is that they're incredibly powerful. I'm sure we've all had the experience that we've looked at somebody's spreadsheet and been like, you know, holy shit, like nobody ever thought you could do that with a spreadsheet and yet here's this person doing it. Um, and the other thing is that they have a really smooth learning curve, which is missing from a lot of the very powerful tools that we use. So spreadsheets make it really easy to go from like a grid of numbers to some cute formatting to some simple formulas and then you're doing some colorful charts and then you're writing some sort of like algorithmic trading bot <laughs> And then you're like losing $30,000 because like the market moved against you. And then you've got to tell everybody where the $30,000 went. Um, so I think that's really powerful. A lot of tools aren't like that. You know, you can't really go from the beginning to the end so smoothly. Um, but I, I don't think that it's as smooth as it could be. Um, and so the reason that it's not smooth is it has this step in the middle where you're like, yeah, you can't use a spreadsheet anymore. You've got to use a programming language. And the problem with programming languages, VBA is bad, but the problem with VBA is not that it's bad, it's that it's not a spreadsheet. Fortunately, uh, here we have this thing called recursive spreadsheets that's gonna save us. So sorry for the lies. You know, in advance, let's see a demo. So, you know, Google in its infinite wisdom. Oh God, here we go. Oh my God, where are we? Where are we? Okay. Ooh, ooh. So Google, in its infinite wisdom, has released a feature called Recursive Spreadsheets. So normally, this is bad. No oh, no. <laughs> so normally, if you want to, like, let's say you have a Fibonacci-related spreadsheet, and you want to define Fibonacci, and this is the way that you would normally do it in a spreadsheet. You do like this, OK, and then you, oh, god, oh, this is so bad. And then you do like that, and then you'd go like, okay, fib, and then you'd go, okay, I guess it's like zero, and then it's one, and then it's like equal to that plus that, and then you like drag it. So one thing is like that's pretty elegant, but also it's kind of sad that you need a row for every like input and output of your function. We'd much rather define it in another way. Um, so fortunately, we've got this feature we just need to tell Google that we want this feature, and we make a new spreadsheet, and we, we rename it. Ooh, yep, yep, yep. We got to give it a special name. Um, and then we go to our recursive spreadsheet. And so recursive spreadsheets have a mnemonic, which is amber for argument, OK? And, and red for return, OK? And so we just go in here, and we go like, OK, if this is less than two, then a one, uh, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's fib of a one uh, minus one plus fib of a one minus two. Yeah, 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 there we go. So it doesn't look like it did anything, OK? But now we can uh, use our recursive spreadsheet other places in our spreadsheet. So look at this. So now we do fib of that. Whoops. Oh, it's a macro. Oh, God, one minute left. <laughs> fib of that. And like, bam. And then it, it, will, it will instantiate our, our sub spreadsheet and use it to calculate all the values. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So um, yeah, so this is, I, this is, so now that here's the part where I go, OK, so it's actually, it was, it was all, it was all lies. I did this in JavaScript. But like after I realized that this was something that like I wanted, 
Now, whenever I use spreadsheets, I'm really sad that I don't have this because I think it would be shockingly powerful. And I'll just skip to the end. I really would like to live in a world where people sort of get tricked into programming. Like you have a non-programming friend who uses spreadsheets and they swear up and down that they're not programmers. And then like one day you walk in on them in their like room or something and they're creating some like weird spreadsheet to help Uzbeki dairy farmers like calculate their taxes and they're uploading it to big, some like spreadsheet package manager and they, they turn around so other people can use it in their spreadsheets and they turn around and see you and all the color drains out of their face because they realize that they can't claim that they weren't a programmer anymore and you clasp them by the shoulders and start explaining the lambda calculus to them like just a madman and they're confused because they don't see how such a thing could ever be useful but they get it because they're like it's just little spreadsheets calling each other right like what's the big deal and that is my talk